How's it going everybody? I've been asked multiple times to address the current issue with damage. For many, it's too high. Others complain that their respective main has damage on the low end. And then we have players that are completely oblivious to how absurd the damage from quote unquote low tier heroes like PK is. At the same time, it's not as clear cut though. Multiple factors come into play. We cannot just simply look at the 1v1 performance and strictly gauge the damage values like that. Starting from feats to how high damage impacts objective play, all that needs to be considered and should eventually a decision be made, then all these implications need to be addressed with balance changes as well. But let's start with what we have at the moment and how we've gotten to this point. As so often, the infamous core combat update is an initial focus point. The update has shown us the course this game was about to take in the upcoming years and one of the main changes we've seen with it was the loading of damage. This was a bit of a circus during the TG and then at release but we've arrived at a balance range that at least makes sense, doesn't matter whether you like it or not at this point. The loading came into place because defense has gotten a lot harder with that update. Reacting to offense before the CCU was magnitudes of times easier than making the reads after it. Which is a good thing, but people will fight me tooth and nails here and I honestly simply don't want to hear it anymore. For Honor, in terms of reactability, is not in a perfect place. It's better than it used to be, but animation quality, frame skipping and so on is a much more talked about topic nowadays. The fluidity from the early days is gone together with the absolute shite balance that it brought with it. But that's a topic for a different video. Fact of the matter is that if attacks land more often, you'd want the fights to not be over within 5 seconds. Or how is anyone expected to make that read to defend? How is someone expected to condition their opponent if you don't need to do more than 3 mix-ups anyways? I've talked about this repeatedly back when the CCU was first introduced. And we need to have that talk again it seems. Since then we've seen many a rework. Some great, some not so much, others hated and many more are being demanded. And with them we've seen some moves creep back up in damage. Without question, one of the biggest culprits at the moment is Raider. Combo zone alone sports 38 damage. And the normal heavies aren't nothing to scoff at either, especially since they have really good hyper armor timings and it's a triple chain. Even if I defend the character from many ridiculous claims, his damage isn't one of those. Damage complaints about him are quite valid. But it's not about single characters or just the reworks that led us to this point. The removal of option selects was a major factor. With them gone, even more experienced players get blown up in teamfights just as quickly as new players. Option selects were often discussed in regard to their efficiency in dual situations. The attacker was put in a mix-up for daring to use their offense. The defender held the advantage. But when you look at it further and their ubiquity in high-level dominion, you quickly notice that they were an integral part in how teamfights played out. Dodge selecting in teamfights was very common, as it covered so many options and with the nature of external dodging it allowed some characters to survive much longer than they actually should have. This was the time when players really put their heads together and came up with these elaborate ganks. It was of utter importance to quickly delete players without giving them the chance to escape. Ganks ideally needed to be 100 to 0 and not feed revenge. If the gank was hard to escape from, or even better, inescapable, then even better. Light confirmed wasn't all that common as those could still be dodge selected. I've talked about this plenty in multiple videos. When watching competitive matches back then, people mainly saw these ever-repeating but really efficient ganks. It was hard or sometimes even impossible to notice what the defender tried to get out of it. We've only seen the option the game chose, but we didn't know what option select the person used, or if any at all. Still, what we are left with now is people dying quicker than before. People that heavily relied on option selects even more so now. So we are back to fight spin over very quickly, especially big team fights. Look at the current meta, it's all about those big unblockable heavies that deal a lot of damage. There's a reason these heroes are being picked at the competitive level. One mistake and suddenly you get hit by multiple of them 
and 17% of your health is gone. What would happen if we just lowered the damage then? They'd still get hit by multiple attacks, but fights overall would take longer. Combined with revenge, fights might take so long that we run into a different issue. Good players manage to survive quite a long time, and especially early fights on points can drag out a long time. Fights for unclaimed points do not feed defender renown, so reinforcing your teammates is a common and viable tactic. This can lead to minute long team fights without any end in sight. This is already happening sometimes, and what we just asked for is lowering the damage, making it harder to kill players. But you have a constant stream of heroes from the spawn. This is very unrewarding for the participants and brings me to another vital subject when talking about damage. Because it's not just damage that plays a role, but it's also healing. Healing at first was ignored in the CCU testing ground and it was evident pretty quickly that this needed some revising. So we now have reduced healing from pretty much all sources. Feats, be that second wind having a lower value, or stalwart banner with its very low healing per tick. And the same goes for healing on zones, it can take absolutely forever. So even if you just finished off all opponents on a point and managed to capture it, the possible quick reinforcements won't allow you to heal for much, maybe half a bar at worst, and then you're already facing a full HP target again. With the upcoming removal or lowering of Defender Renown, all we have to go off here are the values from the Dead by Daylight event game mode. That one still had Defender Renown, but lowered to only plus 5 regardless of class. What I'm trying to say here is that point contesting is becoming less risky, and in that vein, much more popular. This needs a lot of playtesting first, but I can see a tactical element getting lost here, and it might devolve into messy, never-ending teamfights. All of what I just mentioned plays a role when we talk about damage. Just lower the damage Ubisoft, like so many demand. Well, it's not that easy. So many additional components of a match are affected by this and how one plays out can change quite significantly. At least for people that make an effort in understanding the strategy behind map movements and when and why certain fights are happening. Or in fact, are not happening or aren't supposed to happen, I guess. In the end, while I definitely do agree that damage needs to be looked at and lowered, it shouldn't be a singular blanket change. Maybe at first just specific moves to see if it feels better, if it shakes up the meta character picks, or try and go for an elaborate multi-layer balance patch. It'll be hard to sell a few damage nerfs in a testing ground, unless people understand why things are being tested, it's pretty much impossible for them to give proper feedback. I'm looking forward to what Ubisoft has planned. I'm pretty sure we will see those nerfs in the future. I just hope they did consider the big picture. Or maybe their value thinks differently than me, which is obviously possible. Feel free to share your opinion on this whole matter. Do we need damage nerfs? Should we buff it again to season 1 levels? You know, back when the game was truly fun. Am I overcomplicating things? Matchmaking players already ignore everything that can be considered strategical anyways. Having said all that, hope the video was interesting, thanks for watching, latest everybody.